We've long been fascinated by the classic all-American muscle car, the sleek European sports car, and the relatively new breed of supercars. Each of them you see is sexy in their own right and uniquely positioned within the automotive ecosystem. Now, a new breed has emerged. Known as the Hypersport, these super beasts command multi-million dollar price tags and state-of-the-art technology that's straight out of a Bond film. Recently, the Man Guide was invited to view the latest entry into this field, the Lycan Hypersport, which starred alongside Vin Diesel and company in Furious 7. We took this opportunity to meet with its creator, the 29-year-old CEO of W Motors, Ralph DeVos. Many elements converge in my life to uh, come together to get this idea to build W Motors, uh, to build the first Arabian brand of cars, and to build the Lycan Hypersport. So it's a huge pride. I mean, they have this passion for cars all around the region, all around the world, but especially in the Middle East, because they have so much money, of, you know, the oil money. Unfortunately, they don't have the education of cars that we have in Europe or North America. Here, people understand the cars. Over there, they just know of the cars. But coming in by saying, you know, we're going to build the first Arab car, you know, we're there. It's not about the product itself, it's about the initiative that we took. And this raises the bar really high because everybody's focusing on us, everybody's really proud. And you know what? <clears throat> I think in the near future, they will understand that this is something that's being done not only for the Middle East, but for the whole world. But for now, we're focusing on that region to say, we were there, we need your support to be with us, you know, to push our first forward. And then the next step, we're gonna do something even greater for the, for the future. In your wildest dreams, could you have ever imagined that sort of the global debut of this vehicle would have turned out to be in one of the biggest blockbusters in a scene, shot in Dubai, appearing in a Super Bowl commercial? I mean, that's absolutely insane. Talk to me about how that, that yeah, came about. Yeah. I mean, we would have never imagined to have such an exposure. You know, this is just being in the right place at the right time. I mean, we launched the car in 2000. January 2013 was the first official world premiere of the car in Qatar. Barely a month after that, we started getting calls from Universal asking to have a car in their movie. We didn't know which movie it was. We didn't know if this was serious or not. But we followed through on this opportunity, said, you know what, we have nothing to lose. Next thing you know, the producers are with us in, uh, in Torino in our factory, visiting the factory, seeing the production of our cars, and placing orders on several, several units just to be destroyed in the movie. So we thought that this was an incredible opportunity not to miss. Fantastic. And what's, what's next? Next, we have a new car coming out in November. November 10 is a big release of the Super Sport, so we're not going to announce the name until November 10. It's a completely new car, new design, a new performance. It's more of a series production of 25 cars per year, more affordable, but it's more mostly tailored on performance, power, and speed. The Lycan is the collector's uh, hologram, a three-dimensional floating in the air, diamonds, uh, concierge, luxury watch by Frank Miller. So that's the Lycan. Super Sport is just low weight, full carbon fiber, a lot of performance, beautiful design, and more accessible. That's what's coming out in November. And next year, next April, the Beijing Motor Show, you'll witness the first SUV being launched by W Motors. It's 100 cars per year to be produced, much more affordable, and uh, it's targeted to be the, the fastest SUV ever made. So stay tuned for next April. You're gonna have quite a treat by seeing that. Look forward to it. Thank you so much. Thank you, it's a pleasure.